So today, uh, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 that I'm going to show you how to use today. So this is an upgrade of the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, obviously. You can see the compact design compared to the older version which cannot fold down. So it comes with this pouch which is pretty cool and it fits in here perfectly. This is a wrist strap that it comes with and there's an option that you can get this tripod but of course you have to wait for it. So when you put your phone in, make sure the device is off and be careful that you may hit the side buttons. This phone holder shows where the camera should be so it should be up here and the bottom of the phone should be down here. And this gimbal uses the DJI Mimo app, so make sure that you have it on your phone to use the features. To open it, hold the M button and it will go into portrait mode right away. To get out of portrait mode, just press the M button twice and it will switch to landscape mode. This button with the red dot is the record button and the M button is actually the mode button. So if you press it once, you can switch between photo and video mode. So let's open the app now. And if you're using it for the first time, tap the camera icon on the top left, then search for the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, then connect the devices. So let's hit the M button and it will switch to video. You can zoom in and out with the side button here. And it has a USB port so you can charge your phone while running it. This gimbal can last up to 15 hours and it will take 2.5 hours to fully charge it. So let's move on. Now the trigger. It's a big addition from the previous version. How it works is that you can click it two times and it will send you the gimbal. And if you click it three times, it will switch the camera. So let's try hard. And if you click it three times, unfortunately, you cannot switch the camera while recording. Anyway, let's get through some of the settings. You see it goes around like this. So if you want to keep your gimbal exactly where it is, just hold down the trigger and it goes like that. So there's a joystick where you can direct the gimbal. And if you want to go sports mode, if you want faster movement of the gimbal, just press the trigger two times and that second, hold it. Now, the sports mode is enabled. And just let go if you want to disable it. So now I'm gonna show you the active tracking. So if a face is at the center, whether it's yours or someone else's, just click the trigger once and it will follow. If you want to take a panorama, there's a 3x3 and a 180 degree option. Just click the record button and it will do on its own. Lastly, there is a motion time lapse. You can set up to 4 gimbal points where the gimbal will be directed. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.